space-time, an intricate dance of both space and time, varies uniquely for each individual. Just as two individuals cannot coexist at the exact spatial point, their perception of time, too, is distinct. Though human experiences may seem similar due to the consistency in our space-time, the cosmos offers anomalies that challenge our understanding and black holes are the paramount example. At the heart of these celestial anomalies lie powerful gravitational forces that warp space-time. Proximity to a black hole means that one is also close to space-time very different from what we experience on Earth. A previous discussion brought to light the peculiar ways space behaves around these giants. But what about time? Imagine a ship equipped with robust engines, sturdy enough to approach the gravitational pull of a black hole. As this ship advances, it would face a growing resistance, necessitating an increase in thrust, pressing passengers deeper into their seats. For simplicity, let's envision the ship has a device to counteract this. However, as the ship descends closer to the black hole, it experiences a curious visual phenomenon. The encompassing darkness of the black hole seems to expand, engulfing the surrounding view. This challenges our comprehension of our position concerning the black hole's event horizon. Fortunately, modern technology offers a solution. Advanced onboard computers can calculate our proximity to the event horizon, creating a visual representation. This ensures safe navigation just above this point of no return. To truly grasp the time distortion near a black hole, consider this. Before embarking on our journey, we leave a probe near the black hole. This probe sends out a regular 10 MHz radio wave. If time is indeed altered in the vicinity of the event horizon, the frequency of the received signal would deviate from 10 MHz. The equations of time dilation, with respect to distance from the singularity and relative to someone far from the black hole, confirm that time runs slower near the event horizon than farther away. As hypothesized, the radio wave frequency increases, suggesting a profound alteration in the passage of time. This brings us to the foundational concept of general relativity. Regardless of one's position in the universe, the laws of physics remain consistent. In simpler terms, no matter one's reference frame, light always travels at a consistent speed. When velocity is the intersection of space and time, the only way to maintain light speed across reference frames is by adjusting space and time themselves. Visualizing these principles can be daunting, but the embedding diagram offers clarity. This two-dimensional representation illustrates how objects move through space. Without the influence of gravity, objects move predictably. However, near a black hole, light, which must maintain a constant velocity, appears to slow down from an observer's perspective. This apparent deceleration of light is conceptual and not literal. Space around a black hole is bending into a higher dimension, leading to a deceleration in time to let light traverse the additional space. Tales of the event horizon often stir curiosity and fear. Can one go past it and return? A hypothetical scenario might involve extending a pole from our ship beyond the event horizon and retracting it. As fascinating as this sounds, the very nature of space-time around the event horizon would resist such an action. The rod would face extreme gravitational forces, leading to potential breakage or other unpredictable outcomes. Black holes serve as cosmic laboratories, challenging and enhancing our understanding of space-time. These entities, with their curious properties, hold answers to the universe's greatest mysteries. While we've touched upon the space-time war page here, black holes are a reservoir of phenomena waiting to be discovered. How they form and their other idiosyncrasies are topics for another insightful exploration.